Welcome to Hey Ivan, a channel where people ask tech questions. Today's question is, how do I move my information from an old iPhone into a new iPhone? Perhaps you just bought a brand new phone and are ready to set it up without having to start all over again from scratch. Or maybe someone gifted you with a newer version of the iPhone than you had already. Perhaps just maybe the iPhone that you had fell and cracked its screen. And maybe now through your insurance program, you've been able to secure a replacement and you wanna set up the new phone before you send back your old phone. In this video, we'll be talking how you can get the information off of your existing iPhone iPhone and put it into a replacement iPhone without having to start all over again and set everything up from scratch. So how do you move your information from an old phone to a new phone? There are three ways that you can do that. Way number three, you can use a computer to transfer the information from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. If you're on Windows, you'll use iTunes, you'll plug in your existing phone, your old phone, and then you'll back it up to the computer. Afterwards, you'll plug in your new phone and you'll restore from backup. You can do the same thing on the Mac. And if you're running a relatively new version of the Mac operating system, you use Finder instead of iTunes to do this same thing. Way number two is to use iCloud. So on your existing iPhone, your old iPhone, you'll go into settings and you'll go under iCloud and you'll choose to back up your data. So the prerequisite for that is that your iCloud account needs to allow for enough storage to back up your phone before you can save everything there. If you're on the free plan, you've got five gigabytes of data storage. You've been using photos and videos for any length of time. You probably got more than that amount of data on your iPhone. For 99 cents a month, you can upgrade to a 50 gigabyte storage plan for $2.99 a month, you can get up to a 200 gigabyte storage plan, which will probably accommodate what most people need to make the leap from an old device to a new device. And for $9.99 a month, you can get up to a two terabyte storage plan, which would be plenty for anyone, even me, to move from an old phone to a new phone. So the general process is this. You go to settings, you choose iCloud backup, you back up your old phone, and then you go to the new phone, you log into it with your iCloud account, the same one, and you can restore from iCloud backup. But my favorite method for transferring from an old iPhone to a new iPhone is something that Apple calls Quick Start, which allows you to do a direct phone-to-phone -phone data migration. And so that's the method I'll be showing you today. The advantage of this is that you don't need to pay to have any kind of storage plan. You'll be leaning on the storage that's in your old iPhone. And as long as the new iPhone has at least the same amount of storage available, you should be able to do this without the need of a computer at all. So let's take a look at how the phone-to-phone -phone migration works. Oh, and before I forget, in order for this method to work, you need to ensure that both devices have at least iOS 12.4 or newer. The steps are pretty simple. First, you unbox the new phone, you turn it on, and at the hello screen, you then bring your old phone right next to it and you wake it up. Your phone will offer to set up the brand new phone based on the existing phone that you have. And then you follow the prompts. Based on how much data you've got, it might take a while for you to complete the whole process. In my case, it took just about an hour. Let me go ahead and show you how the series of steps unfolded. So on my old phone, I touch set up new phone. The new phone shows a pattern. I take my old phone pointed at that pattern. And then shortly after that, I'm asked to enter the code that unlocks my old phone, which proves that I have the authority to transfer data. The new phone offers to allow me to set up face ID, which I'll choose to do later. And it asks me how I'd like to transfer my data. I'm transferring directly from phone. I accept some agreements, and then I choose to allow other options from my old phone to be set up on the new phone. This new phone doesn't yet have the latest version of iOS on it, so I have to first download that version of iOS, allow it to install, and then I'll be able to continue with migrating data from my old phone over to the new one. After I've upgraded to the latest iOS, both phones show me a progress bar that lets me know how much time remains before the transfer of data has completed. Data transfer complete. The new phone reboots and I'm ready to go to the next step. After you've successfully transferred all of the data from your old phone to your new phone, when you look at them side by side, they should appear to be identical. The next thing you'll want to do is eject the SIM card from the old phone and bring it across to the new phone where you can insert it. If you're going to work with a new SIM card altogether, you'll need to contact your service provider in order to have them activate the new SIM card in your new phone with your existing account information. Before you erase your old phone, I recommend going through and opening every app. If you're using 
using two-factor authentication on any of your applications such as Gmail or Facebook, you might need to use your old phone to let you in. For example, if I go to my Gmail account and I sign into it on my new phone, it will ask me to open the Gmail app on my old phone to verify that it's really me trying to sign into my account. So highly recommend before you get rid of your old phone, you go through, open each one of your apps. And if you're using a two-factor authentication app like Microsoft Authenticator or Duo Mobile, you'll more than likely have to set up those apps on your new phone using your old phone as a way to let you sign in to make those changes. Once you're certain that your new phone is doing everything your old phone did and more, then the last thing you'll do is you'll go into Find My iPhone and turn it off on your old phone. And then you'll erase your old phone before you send it back or give it away to someone else. And if you're planning on keeping your old phone but you're not going to use it for a while, then I highly recommend that you drain the battery by just using it, playing back videos or what have you, until it's around 50% and then turn the phone off. I recently did a video that talks about phone batteries and you may want to check that out to learn more about how to optimize your battery for long-term use. Got a question for Hey Ivan? Drop a comment and let's see if we can find you an answer. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.